The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. Introducing the champion from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, The Animal Batista! Don't go anywhere. Taming the wild beast is a cakewalk in comparison to taming the animal Batista. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista bomb tonight. Painful would be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. Harsh impact. Drop down. Now leapfrog. You gotta believe this one's over. Batista returned to WWE in 2014 in the best shape of his career. The animal entered the Royal Rumble match and stood nose to nose with upstart Roman Reigns. Uh, it was absolutely electric, Michael. Batista eliminated Reigns to win the match and became only the fourth man to win the Royal Rumble twice. I want to go back to Batista's 2014 Royal Rumble win. The WWE Universe could not have voiced more displeasure at the fact that Batista won, even when he faced off against the much despised members of the Shield. Yeah, it wasn't the hero's return he expected, but that didn't stop the animal from crushing everything in sight on his road to WrestleMania. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. When Batista returned to WWE in 2014, he brought with him a new repertoire of attacks and evasions. Corey, how does mixed martial arts impact someone's matches? Hold strikes, establishing control, already part of the superstar's DNA, Cole. Adding proficiency in mixed martial arts makes oh. Batista a more complete competitor. It made the animal even more vicious. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
talking about Batista's MMA training being incorporated into his offense for WWE competition also speaks to the evolution of the sports entertainment competitor. Byron, share with us your thoughts. Michael, I don't think the already dominant Batista even needed any more offensive tools. But I completely agree. At six, Look at this. And Chris Jericho gets the shoulder up. Yeah, this early, no chance. No luck against Batista there. Without a doubt, this is a volatile... Uh-oh. Batista is looking to end it. And the slam. That has got to be it. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. Vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Hard to argue my this point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me at River Saxton. The champion is... Batista showing the WWE Universe his rage and emotion. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question. He goes for the cover. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Wow, even now, under those circumstances, Chris Jericho digs deep to power out. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Not so fast. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And here comes Batista. Big time slam. Vicious. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. And he's heading back in. You know, when Batista left Evolution, many felt he was a marked man. But the animal managed to thrive on his own. Batista became beloved by the WWE Universe, and it propelled him to multiple world championships. Michael mentioned Batista's departure from Evolution, and that's when the animal morphed into an altered beast, consumed with rage. However, after hellacious battles with John Cena, he instituted a self-imposed exile. The champion into the cover! And he manages to get the shoulder up. Wow, that's pure power, guys. One grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. I'll tell you. And an air fall. How'd he do that? Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. 
Hooked up. Uh, this is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar world to assault ever does. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Oh, and it's a reversal. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. Not agree with me. Uh oh, the double leg. He's going for it if he can step through. Can Jericho turn him over? There it is, it's locked in. The walls. But can he follow up here? Oh, and he finds a way to escape. Wow. Oh, I think this entire arena had written him off. Myself included. Boom! <laughs> He's looking for the win. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. There he goes, crashing to the floor. <laughs> oh, boy, he is rolling. Breaker flawlessly executed. Boom! Oh, what an elbow! Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. This has been a battle. Scoop slam! You know an Extreme Rules match is going to be dangerous going in, but I don't think anybody anticipated it being this dangerous. Got it! Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh. Here's the pin title on the line! Go. One, two! True testament to grit. I can't believe what we're seeing here. He has him right where he wants him. And one more time. Looks like this one's going to go in the champ's favor. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. And last but not least, there was this. Here is your winner, and still WWE Champion, The Animal. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. That's a title match they're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen.